Got like two or three jobs lined up right now and they are all blowdowns. The first one is kind of interesting. A tree went down over the house, but you gotta check out the house. All right, uh, here's the situation. Outhouse, house, lake. It's kind of like creative stuff going on with electricity. As for the trees, uh, these two guys came down. Uh, one's on the line, the other one uh, over the line, stuck in the next tree. Didn't hit the roof. Well, I mean, like maybe a branch or something. Uh, she also wants this one to come down. Big old tall uh, spruce. Maybe it's a hemlock. Totally nasted out with woodpecker damage. Oh. Doors open on the structure. Okay. Didn't quite expect that. I'm not sure how stable this is. It looks like they kind of built it like into some of these trees and then topped it. I mean, Creekside houses are nice, but this one, it just, it seems a little close. Let me see what access is like over here. This thing's just getting really low. all kinds of pipes and stuff in the water and my tree is hung up like right up in here right up in this thing oh, this is like I feel like I'm doing tree work in like 1812 power line here all right I think pulling this guy off the line first is the way to go let's look at the outhouse oh yeah one holer I always thought that signified a two-holder, but... Oh, there's a mirror. There's a mirror in the outhouse. It's like Gormando. got this kind of cleared out for the tree not perfect but you know and I got to get over there and get a line in it I threw my rope kind of over the house just so I don't have any power line issues Whoa. that's only like third time I've fallen I figured you know an old cabin like this it must have shut the power off but the meters cooking they got juice The faint-hearted among us might ask, why are we saving this cabin? But that is not a question for me. I simply show up and, oh gosh, oh. Okay, so all throwing is happening like right here by the cliff. If I fall on this creek, I need to hit up here and kind of not fall and tumble down into all that stuff. And if there ever was a throw bag challenge where you really want to hit it on the first shot, because if you don't, uh, you're like crawling around in the ravine, this is it.
Got it. I would like it noted for the record that I only kind of fell in the creek. It was only once. First throw back did work out and we got a line in the tree. Oh, where's my cardboard? I lost my cardboard. I mean, there was kind of a railing at one point. Deck chairs. Windows open too. I don't quite get why the door and the window open. All right, lines in the tree, three quarters of the way up. It's kind of ideal-ish. Let me see if I can get tension on it or if it's like snagged on something. One more little weird detail. When I pull this guy up, aside from just crashing on everything, I don't want it to get funny and slide into the house. So I'm just gonna like strap it to some stuff. That'll hold like 3,000 pounds or something. So, hey, he's gotta be enough. The line's over here to a redirect. Tree saver, wheel, midline bowling, hooked up to the winch. Let's pull. All right, the pull's getting kind of crazy. A lot more than I thought. I'm thinking the dang thing is tied up up top more than I thought. I'm just gonna give it a little more juice. All right, it's free. It was crazy tied up up top. You might have heard that snapping and stuff. Whoa! Things started cracking up top. Okay, now this was not exactly what I was planning. I uh, went with a kind of thick hinge, like, you know, like an inch and a half or whatever, but it never happened because there was like absolutely nothing going on on the ground. I was like two inches thinking that would work, but there was just no pressure down below. Alright, update on tree two. This is the one I was gonna climb. It's uh completely dead and just way too sketchtastic for my climbing taste. So I got a rope in it. Uh, it's pretty upright, similar to the other one at the base, just total nothing. I'm gonna pull it. It's gonna do some scraping up top in the oak.
slightly violent. Just had to snap that tip. It sure is like six inches wide. And she wasn't too bad at the base. That's good. I'm getting this tuned up with the rake. You can't behold the beauty of the lakeshore cabin. Uh, that guy flushed, that stump just obliterated. I think I yanked out the other one too that was on the wire. Probably should get my saw. Property's up here at the end of this driveway and it's shared. It's got like two or three, I think three houses all together. The down tree is over here on the right. The uh, owner is actually over in this house, but this dude, it's like on his land. White pine, it's got like two or three big stems that kind of came in and you just gotta see how this thing broke down. Took out two fences. and just snapped clean. And, uh, no root ball come up or anything. It was like maybe 24 inches and just like half rotten. So good wood over here, like good stuff. And this side just totally rotten. Snap that baby, just pow. I was just talking with the caretaker lady. I guess they like rescue animals and stuff. I'm gonna try not to get bit. My dog doesn't sound like it likes me. This is little dogs. The little dogs really get you. I'm kind of parked on this guy's property. It was when I was over here. It was kind of over here. She had a dude kind of lighten it up a little bit. It's almost like having a crew. Right, here's what it looks like cleaned up so we got the fence out of here put the clean boards on either side we'll take out this fence here and there was debris and stuff over here but that's cleaned up and that's pretty much taken out i guess it's sort of looking better than it was so he said all right uh, that job's done trailer is gently loaded over the top
So weird thing about this spruce is that it's hung up in like two limbs up here. I'm kind of fond of little red bud or whatever this is down here. But yeah, just like two limbs in the maple. Options for getting it down. I could uh, trim off one or two of those little maple, maple pieces. was a springy fella and came out okay. I wrapped up on this one and cause of death ended up being carpenter ants. The tree looked healthy but it's got like a huge cavity in here and it's just kind of infested so at least that did some weakening. I got the logs a little high so I got like a belly band strap. Belly band! It's probably worth mentioning that this is not necessarily a how-to video. It's just a story of how I, you know, kind of wander around and doing things. <laughs>